Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for our Unitronics Unistream control platform. Hello, my name is John Anastasides and I'm an applications engineer here at Unitronics. A popular feature supported by the Unistream is the web server. UniLogic's web server allows the user to easily access information from a remote Unistream using any web browser on a PC, tablet, or smartphone. The web server on the Unistream is easy to build and even easier to use. Building a web page is similar to building an HMI display within Unilogic. Buttons, numeric elements, actions, as well as graphs and trends can be utilized on a web page. A user can enable both read and write capabilities depending on the application. The Unistream web server also allows permissions to be set for given accounts upon login to the web page. The web page can be as simple as displaying tank levels or as complex as laying out a full floor of a home, giving the user full write permissions to adjust anything from the air conditioning to lighting. Now that we have a bit of background on the web server feature, let's take a look at Unilogic. In this video, a Unistream 7 will be configured to host a web page. Navigate to PLC Communications in the Solution Explorer. Select Physical. Choose Panel Ethernet. And on the right side of the window, the panel IP address can be set. This IP address will be the local host address for the web server. Next, let's add a web server. Navigate to the Web Server Configurator in the Solution Explorer. Click the green plus to enable the web server feature. A new module and web page will be automatically created. Select the Web Server Configurator in the Solution Explorer once more to view the general web server properties on the right side of the window. The Attributes section is related to the web page aesthetics. Background color and page width can be adjusted. The icon is referring to the emblem in the search bar of the web browser. The default HTTP port is 80. The title of the web page can also be changed. The security section can be used to establish users and roles. Roles can limit user permissions for individual web pages. When first accessing the web page, a login page will appear. Select roles and add a new role. Role 1 is created. Enter the description guest. Select close. Now select users. Add a new user. Activate the user with the checkbox. Create a username and password. Finally, select the role that was just created, Role 1. Now, User 1 can enter their password of 1111 to log into the web server. Now that the general web server properties are complete, let's build a web page. For this sample program, web pages will be created to display simple data and web page elements. Actions will be created allowing easy navigation between pages. To view the web pages that currently exist, select Module 1 and Web Page 1. The window that appears is similar to the one while creating an HMI display. On the right side of the window is the toolbox containing all available web page elements. Let's discuss the properties of this web page in the bottom right. The page height refers to the size of the page when opened in the web browser. The web page elements can be locked via the checkbox if nothing on the web page should be moved or active. Leave this unchecked to enable editing. The web page can then be renamed if necessary. This is for reference only. Next, change the web page color by selecting the drop down button to the right of background color slash image. Roles can be assigned to independent web pages to limit user access. 
Assigning role one here will give user one full access to this web page. Next, let's discuss web page elements included in the toolbox. Simple elements will include drawing utilities like line and rectangle tools. Buttons will allow the user to create a button on the web page before assigning actions to it. User controls contain options like radio buttons, combo boxes, and list boxes, which will use an index number to determine the current selection. Text elements allow the user to enter ASCII on the web page. Numeric elements like the numeric box will allow the user to show or enter a number on screen that can then be used throughout the application. Image elements can be used to display a fixed image for display purposes or a range depending on the state of a system, for example. Tanks, graphs, and meters can be used to create an on-screen display of the system being monitored. Trends are also available as a web page element. A timer box is available to display or modify current or preset time, which can be adjustable or read-only depending on its purpose. Web page elements includes a hyperlink, which can be placed on a web page for easy integration with existing web pages directly from the web server application. Let's place elements on screen. From the toolbox, select text elements. Select fixed text and place it at the top of the web page for a header. In the Properties window that appears for the fixed text, change the text to page 1 Underneath, change the font size to 40 and change the color to white. Select Close. Next, create a binary image variable on the web page. Navigate to the toolbox and select Image Elements. Select Binary Image Variable. Place this element on the web page and size accordingly. In the Properties window that appears, link a tag to this variable using the pencil to the right of the tag link. Name the tag light and select save in the box. Next, edit the collection of images above the tag link by selecting the button to the right of images binary. Choose an image for each state of the light, one for on and one for off. Choose the clear bulb for the off state. For the on state, choose the lit bulb. Select close. Now navigate to buttons in the toolbox. Drag a button to the web page. In the button properties window that appears, label the button switch. To assign actions to toggle the light, select Actions at the top of the Properties window. Choose Toggle Bit for the action and assign the link Light. The trigger for the switch will be when pressed. Select Close. In order to add a second web page, navigate to Module 1 under the Web Server Configurator. Select the green plus to add a second web page. Unilogic will automatically direct to the newly created page. Notice that the first web page is in bold text. 
This indicates which web page will load first as the startup page. This main page can be changed by right clicking on the desired web page and selecting set as startup page. The purpose of the new web page is to demonstrate jumping to and from the main page. First, navigate to the properties window and change the background color to gray. Each web page can have its own properties configured in this menu. Select the button in the toolbox and place it on screen. Rename the button back to page 1. Under Attributes, select the Collection of Actions. Add a new action. Change the action to Load Web Page and under Screen, select Web Page 1. This button will be triggered when pressed. Select Close. This will allow a jump from the current page back to the main page, which is Web Page 1. Now create a jump button from Page 1 to Page 2. Navigate to Web Page 1 under Module 1 in the Solution Explorer. Drag and drop a button from the toolbox. Change the text label to go to page 2. Under Attributes, select the Collection of Actions. Add a new action. Select Load Web Page. And under Screen, select Web Page 2. This button will be triggered when pressed. Select Close. This will allow navigation between these pages. Interaction between Web Page and HMI may be needed in certain applications. Navigate to Screen 1. Place a binary image variable on the screen as well. Link the light as the tag link in the Properties menu. Change the image collection to a bulb that's off and a bulb that is on. The light status will remain read-only on the HMI. The light status can now be viewed from the HMI. Now that the web server is configured, download the project to the controller. Open an internet browser and in the search bar, enter the IP address of the configured panel. On the password screen that appears, enter the username and the password that was created and select submit. This should direct to the startup page for the configured web server. For the sample program, blue page 1 is loaded as the startup page. Click the switch button to change the status of the light on the web page as well as the HMI display. In order to navigate to page 2, use the jump button and web page 2 will be loaded. Use the Back to Page 1 button to jump back to the main page. This is a simple example of web server capabilities. For a more in-depth demonstration of how rich the web server feature truly is, I will load the Unistream demo program that includes a full web server application. Upon entering the IP address in the web browser,
the intro page will be displayed. Choose the pulsing enter button to view the main web page. The main web page's About tab will include clean graphics and a description of the web page feature in Unilogic. At the bottom of the web page, a hyperlink to the Unitronics website along with social media icons equipped with hyperlinks can be found. The top toolbar will allow the user to navigate to different web pages including Room Control, Water Management, Trend, and Contact Us. Select Room Control. Control an office remotely using the buttons in the bottom right hand corner of the page. Select Spotlight to activate the pillar lights above the coffee table. Ceiling light will control the main lights above the desk. AC will control the vent next to the desk to adjust room temperature before your arrival. Next, select Water Management. Monitor and regulate water usage through the use of the web server. Select the test button for each pump to ensure they have power. Select the start button for each gauge to track the water flow. The water flow reading will update at the bottom of the page. To start the tanks, use the switches at the top. The pressure readings will update as the tanks continue to fill. If the system should be stopped, use the stop button to kill the pumps. Select Trend. Three live feeds are being monitored on the web page. Select the next button to cycle focus on the curves. Select the stop button on the trend. Use the arrows at the bottom of the trend to view the entire timeline. The inspect button in the top right corner of the trend will allow you to view exact times and values of highlighted points on the trend. Select Contact Us, the last web page tab. Functional links to email and YouTube can be selected from this page. Choose the first tab to return to the intro page of the web server. This concludes the web server tutorial. There are many uses for the web server feature on the Unistream, whether it be a simple variable display or complex monitoring system. I hope this information helps with your future programming and thank you for watching.